is to pronounce correctly, and we often face trouble with some common pronunciation because of the difference of the sounds of two languages. We have organized this workshop to address the concern about English pronunciation and highlight the common problems in English pronunciation for Bangladeshi people. And the most common question, is it important to pronounce like native English speaker? Which accent is correct, British or American? Let's go, let's get to know all about these concerns from today's workshop. Before starting the workshop, I would like to request our participants to follow some guidelines. Please keep your mic muted for a smooth experience. If you have any question during the session, please raise your hand. We will identify you and give you the floor. Or you can write your queries in the chat box. Dear viewers, our today's workshop will be facilitated by a renowned applied linguist, Mr. Amin Rahman, who is joining from Melbourne, Australia. Mr. Amin Rahman is a 1966 Kuwait graduate with educational and working background in ICT, technology management, applied linguistics, and educational research. He has lived and worked in Pakistan, Bangladesh, Iraq, Venezuela, Australia, Zimbabwe, and Kuwait on assignments with government, universities, and private organizations. He is based in Melbourne, Australia, and visits Bangladesh regularly, and teaches spoken English and English pronunciation to teachers and students of rural Bangladesh. He has published four books on pronunciation. The title of his latest book is Cholo Netrukunai Kureashi. Without further ado, I would like to request Mr. Ramin Rahman to conduct our today's session. Mr. Ramin Rahman, over to you. Okay, thank you very much indeed, Mr. Uh, Imdad, uh, my little brother. Okay, uh, before starting, I would like to tell everybody that I'm not sir. Huh? Sir is only that person who has been knighted by the queen and i have not reached that stage yet the queen has not knighted me and i'm just an ordinary person like you okay i'm a bhaiya i'm a bhaiya okay and and the thing we just discussed a little while ago uh, we want to exploit this okay if anybody calls me sir then he or she will be fined 50 taka and mr imdad will write it down and collect it from you and it will that money will ultimately go to some useful charity okay has everybody understood that uh, fine, fine, fine. So uh, if you want to donate anyway, so you can call me, sir. Okay, then every time. So you can call me 100 times, so you'll be uh, paying uh, 100 times 50 is how much? 5,000, am I right? That, that'd be good. You can give it to some poor fellow, give some food or whatever. Huh? We, we have, uh, we do that all the time. Uh, we donate to a lot of uh, uh, poor people and for, useful charities okay so today we are here let me first get up my slide share screen okay now let's see can you all see the screen can you see the screen please yes. somebody say yes. yes okay good yes yeah okay so i will start all right lovely blue screen isn't it huh like the sky so you can put all your imagination there okay first of all i'll answer a few questions which uh, mr imdad uh, 
uh, raised just a few yes. minutes ago just he raised uh, which pronunciation yeah there are many many different pronunciation in england itself there are about 55 different pronunciations okay people from different parts of england they speak in differently but they have a, a they call it this british standard british standard which is called rec received pronunciation received pronunciation which only five percent of the british population speak five percent but British population is about 65 million and 5% of that period. But they tell you, oh, you must all learn this received pronunciation, BBC pronunciation or Oxford pronunciation or the Queen's pronunciation. And you pay them a lot of money, huh? British Council and other uh, organization. They say, okay, uh, you pay us money and we'll run a course on this British pronunciation. So, <clears throat> That, that is, and there are six English speaking countries in the world. There are six English speaking, net, they are called native English speakers. I'm not a native English speaker. I live in Australia, an English speaking country, but I am not considered a native English speaker. My children are native English speakers, but I am not. Okay, so I cannot speak however I try, I cannot speak like a native English speaker because I was not born and brought up in a native English speaking country. All right. So, so similarly, the other English speaking countries are America. One is UK, Britain, Britain, and they have Ireland. Ireland is another. So two are gone there and two are there, Canada and USA. Canada and USA. They have their own way of speaking. They have different accents. They have, again, they have multiple accents. American, Black Americans speak in a way, and people in the North speak in one way, people in the South speak in another way. So they don't have as many varieties as in England. In England, there are as I said, about 55 different varieties, but America, there may be about 10 or something like that. And three are more prominent. Okay, so, so we have England, Ireland, then uh, America, USA, Canada, Australia, where I live, and New Zealand. So these are the six. Uh, excuse me so these are the six countries which are called native english speaking countries and each of them have their own variety of english okay australian english is completely different from british english it's completely different from american english even in vocabulary vocabulary and grammar and all this they're, uh, they're different okay so so we will you will never be able to speak in the same accent as a British accent or American accent or Australian accent. But you can speak in an accent which is called intelligible. Bangladeshi bodogommo, intelligible accent, which anybody will understand. I speak in very intelligible. People have told me, you speak very well we can understand you very well. Okay, even Australians say you speak better than me because Australians are not so intelligible. So, uh, so you have to learn to speak intelligibly. Intelligibly. Intelligible. Banglate bodhogammo. Bodhogammo. Holi jatheshto. Amra je Bangladesh amra বিদেশি 
দেশ সঙ্গে কথা বলার জন্য বিদেশে পড়াশোনা করার জন্য বিদেশে ব্যবসা করার জন্য বিদেশে আমরা ডিপ্লোম্যাট হতে চাই অনেক কিছু করতে হয় সেই জন্য তখন আমাদের ওখানে অসুবিধা যেন না হয় সেই জন্য আমাদের ইংরেজিটা ভালো করে একটু উচ্চারণটা আমরা ইংলিশ স্পিকারদের মতো হবে না কোনোদিনই হবে না হ্যাঁ কোনোদিনই হবে না কিন্তু আমরা যথেষ্ট বোধগম্য মতন করে ইংরেজি বলবো হুম অনেক বলে দিচ্ছি এমদাদ ভাইয়ের প্রশ্নের উত্তর দিয়েছে না আরো কিছু বলবো ওখানে বিফোর আই স্টার্ট হ্যাঁ বলেছি না হ্যাঁ আচ্ছা